Hello all. In this video, I am here to explain about e-commerce technology. The first agenda which we will discuss in this video will be the objectives of learning e-commerce as a part of your academics and as a student. And later on, we'll discuss and have an introduction on basic concepts of e-commerce and other technologies used in it. So let's get started. What are the main objectives of learning e-commerce? Why should a student, why should a commerce graduate be aware of electronic commerce, that is e-commerce technology? Firstly, it will provide knowledge about electronic commerce. So you will have a basic idea of what electronic commerce is and how it is working on. And next, you will be enabled to understand e-commerce for business applications. So as commerce graduates, you will be understanding why this e-commerce is used for business applications and how they are working technically. So what is e-commerce? Yes. I told you we are going to cover all essential e-commerce basics every student needs to know but before we do that let's answer this fundamental question what is e-commerce let's split this word e-commerce into e and commerce so let's explain it in detail commerce what is commerce commerce means trading that is buying and selling of goods and services, especially on large scale. Do you remember this? Barter system. It was the first time which we people went in person physically to a market to exchange goods and get another goods for what we exchange. And now this is the scenario. We have shifted ourselves from barter system to bitcoins. That is all about e-commerce. So commerce is basically trading and e-commerce is electronically trading your goods and services. So what's the difference? What is so different about traditional commerce or trading and e-commerce? Traditional commerce is this one. Do you see? Big bazaar. We go in person. We collect goods. We purchase a lot of goods. And then we come back home. We are physically present in this commerce act. But in e-commerce, what is happening? It's the same Big Bazaar. When you just click www.bigbazaar.com, you're getting an e-commerce platform where you will be enabled to buy, purchase, sell everything, purchase any type of goods. Or you can exchange your goods through online so that is happening and that is the main difference between a traditional commerce and e-commerce okay so basically e-commerce is also known as electronic commerce or internet commerce which refers to buying and selling of goods or services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to execute these transactions okay basically you're going to transact through internet and transfer the money and data through internet as well. So if you have a desktop, laptop, tablet or simply a mobile phone, you will be able to buy goods from anywhere around the world. So that's it of e-commerce. So this is a basic introduction of what the e-commerce is. So you should know what all types of e-commerce are there. Is it? So let's see. Types of e-commerce. Some of the famous types of e-commerce are drop shipping, wholesale and warehousing, subscription e-commerce. Have you heard these words? No? I'll show you in a picture format. Drop shipping. Drop ship model is something where customer places an order. Say for example, he pays a re retail price of rupees. 200 to the supplier now what happens is the store is forwarding your order to the supplier and the store is 
paying a wholesale price of rupees 150 so you have play, paid a rupees 200 and the store will forward 150 rupees to the supplier supplier in turn will ship the product directly to your customer that is you will directly get the goods from the supplier so what happened basically the storekeeper is getting 50 rupees as profit so this is a very famous model so that is one of the type of e-commerce which is prevailing in today's scenario next is wholesale and warehouse what happened is warehouse is what you place an order through online and this order is directly sent to the warehouse okay now suppliers send orders to online warehouse stores so basically you are going to place an order and the supplier will send the order to the warehouse and warehouse will se send the product directly to the customer so uh, the triggering thing what happens there is the same order can be triggered in the warehouse as well but in some cases it will reach the supplier and then the supplier goes to warehouse and gives the order and the warehouse keeper sometimes directly send it to you sometimes if it a uh, order which is not appropriate to be sent directly it will be sent to the supplier and the details will be given so and so okay next is subscription e-commerce this is a new term what happens is the customer customer not only gets the good at one time if this person is subscribing to that online platform and subscribing the goods to be purchased this person without ordering it again and again will get the same products periodically so if you are a person who buys a ration every month you are just subscribing into the store and then the store will send you the ration every month even without ordering it over and over. So this is a new type of e-commerce prevailing here. So with all these examples, I hope you understood what e-commerce is and what are the basic e-commerce practices that are available in our country and in our place. So in the coming video, I'll explain more in detail about what e-commerce, what types of business models are there and then all the basic information about e-commerce. So stay tuned. Thanks for listening.